Um, for this short talk, I want to share with you what I believe is the essential message of the book of Isaiah. We have been studying the book of Isaiah in our Sabbath school lesson this quarter, first quarter of 2021. And for some people, the book of Isaiah can seem a little daunting, challenging to, to summarize. So in a few moments, I want to share with you what I believe to be the central theme of the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah was written at a time when Judah was facing issues about dependence on God. Two nations to the north, Syria and the northern kingdom of Israel, form a confederacy to attack Judah. And the Bible tells us that the people were terribly afraid, so afraid that the Bible says that their knees were like water. And God sent a message to Isaiah to comfort the king of Judah. But instead of depending on God, King Ahaz decided to depend upon Assyria. So you find that the message of Isaiah, or most of the messages of Isaiah, was to reassure Judah that they can depend on God. You know, you'll hear from Isaiah chapter 40, it says, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, fainted not, neither is weary. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. In Isaiah 40 verse 10, it also says, Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. Isaiah 41 verse 10, he says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And one of my favorites is found in Isaiah 43 verse 2 to 3. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And, when, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, and Ethiopia and Seba for thee. The concept of the arm of the Lord, God intended to inspire hope and confidence of Israel. He wanted to, them to know that he is strong enough he is dependable enough. But Isaiah raised a very important question, which I believe formed the center of the book, or the response to the question formed the center to the book of Isaiah. The question that Isaiah raised is found in Isaiah 53 verse, verses 1 to 3. It says, Lord, who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord? revealed. Isaiah was saying all this talk about strength is good but who is going to believe when they truly see the arm of the Lord? When they truly see the salvation of God, will they believe that he is a prince of peace? Will they believe the report that his going forth has been from of old? Will they believe that he is an everlasting God, the prince of peace? Why did Isaiah ask these questions? Because Isaiah says, When they shall see him, he will have no beauty that they should desire him. Matter of fact, Isaiah says, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. No one is going to believe except the Lord reveal to them that this humble man of Galilee is the strength of Israel. No one is going to believe except the Holy Spirit put it in their hearts that this man who was born of a virgin, this man who grew up in Nazareth, he is the arm. He is the one who meets out the heavens like a span. He is the one who weighs the mountains in scales and the hills in balances. Will they believe? Yes, only if the Lord reveal it to them. No one is going to believe that he, though he was hungry, he feeds the birds. 
He feeds the lions. He feeds every living creature. He's the bread of life. No one is going to believe except the Lord revealed to them that though they spat in his face, though they mocked him and jeered him, he has command of the angelic host. He is Michael, the archangel, the chief of the angels. No one is going to believe unless the Lord revealed to them. Oh, he lived as a pauper. The cattle on a thousand hills belongs to him. No one is going to believe except the Lord revealed to them that though he was crucified, though he was mocked and they questioned, they said, if you are the son of God, then come down from the cross. No one would believe that he had power. He says, I lay my life down and I have power to take it again. No one is going to believe that he is the one who has power, not only to change the world, but to enter into my heart and change it. He is the arm of the Lord. And I believe he is the center, not only of the book of Isaiah, but he is the center of the Bible. I pray that the Holy Spirit will help you to believe that you can depend on him, you can trust in him, and he will never fail you. God bless you.